Hey guys, so welcome to today's vlog. I was just thinking as I was getting ready to vlog that I literally took off like what I like my outfit today, which I really liked. It was really, I thought it was cute. Um, and took it off and washed my face and put my hair up like this. And then that's when I decided to start today's vlog. So you would think I would have kind of started it when I, you know, didn't look like this, but here I am. Um, today I wore this denim jumpsuit from Target. Um, and I loved it. I've been waiting to wear that. It's actually like 80 degrees here today. So I was waiting for fall weather to wear it. And then I decided to wear it on an 80 degree day. I don't know, but I feel like it's acceptable because it's almost November. So I feel like no matter how warm it is, it's acceptable at this point to wear fall clothes. So I did, but it's pretty warm today. Um, and it's been cooler, but it's just really warm today. So we had a good day. It's Sunday and we went to church and, you know, we love worship and, um, had some fun today, you know, in October, you may not know, October is Pastor Appreciation Month. So we've been working on this really cool video that I couldn't talk about. Um, as actually a clip of me in, a, in the filming room at the church doing something. And that's what we were doing was filming the Pastor Appreciation video. Um, we filmed one for um, our lead pastors um, because they're awesome and we just really wanted to honor them and and we have a lot of pastors that work you know within our church um you know like Manny and I are worship tech arts pastors and um Krista and and her husband are you know they do different things so there's several pastors but Krista and I kind of got together and was like let's just honor our lead pastors let's even the pastors come together and just do something to honor them because um you know they do a lot for us and we really just we love them so much so we wanted to do that and I was so excited I love to surprise people like I was just so excited I was hoping I didn't give it away beforehand um so anyways we you know got to show them the video and it was they cried and it was just really sweet it was a really sweet moment and um then the children's pastor's husband came up and he was actually decided to honor all the pastors and I wasn't expecting that at all so I was like over taking a picture somewhere and then he said my name and Manny's name and I like ran over there because they were going to pray over us and I thought that was super sweet that that he did that it wasn't even something I was thinking about so that was just really sweet of him and uh, it was a fun day I love surprising people we pulled it off and it was it was cool we've been working on it so anyways now I'm getting ready to make some broccoli cheddar soup I love the broccoli cheddar soup from Panera but I tried to make the like copycat Panera one last year I think it was last year or the year before and I wasn't like crazy about it. It wasn't bad. It just didn't taste like Panera's. So I'm going to try one today that's not even supposed to taste like Panera's. It's just broccoli cheddar soup and um, see how it is. I mean, it wasn't bad last year. It was just, you know, not really the same and I was like expecting it to be. But um, this one, I don't have expectations. So I'm just expecting some good soup. I'm getting the recipe out of this cookbook. It's called Fix It and Forget It. Five ingredient um, comforting slow cooker recipes. So I'm going to try to find this recipe in here again. I know I have the stuff for it, but I just have to find the recipe and start cooking because we're getting hungry. Okay, let's see. So this is the recipe, um, and it is actually really simple. One pound frozen chopped broccoli, thawed. Oh, I need to thaw it out. <laughs> One pound Velveeta cheese cubed, which I don't really know what that means, but I'm just going to put the Velveeta cheese in there, and we're going to hope for the best. Um... And then celery soup, cream of celery soup, and um, chicken broth, pepper, and salt. So I have all that stuff. I'm going to get it out. It's supposed to be thawed, which I didn't even realize. I was just expecting to put it in there. So I'm just going to put it under some water here. Okay, so we have the cream of celery. I don't remember how much it said. So I'll grab more. If I need it, we just got groceries, so now we actually have things in here. <laughs> oh, we were getting pretty low. Um, anyways, I'll probably need all of these, I think. I don't know, though. And then we have... Wait, what else did it need? Chicken broth and cream of celery. Okay. So, yeah, I have... All this stuff sitting out here. Okay, well, I guess I really don't need to do this whole bag because it only needs a pound. So I'm going to take some of this out and put it in a bowl. Okay, so I've put roughly about a pound of that in the water so it can defrost. Manny. Ow! Stop it! And now I'm going to use... Thank you, Manny. I'm going to do. And now I'm going to use um, the Crock-Pot liners. I love these. They make the cleanup process a lot easier and they're just really good. Please stop. 
<laughs> okay, so this is what it's like with the liner in there. And um, you can find these at Walmart or anywhere. I think I get them at Walmart. Um, so now I'm going to... Yeah, literally all you do is combine ingredients in slow cooker and cover. Cook on low for five to six hours, it says, Manny. On low? Yeah. Oh, God, I don't know. Why would it take five hours for broccoli to harden or to soften and cheese to melt? Slow cooker. Just stay on high. So that, that might not be good, though. I really thought that it said three hours. So yeah, I'm going to do it on high for a couple of hours. This is why I love the crock pot because you literally just throw things in there and it makes a meal. But I have the broccoli here that I'm gonna put in there and then we're gonna put chicken broth in there. I used um, cream of celery, I used two cans. It's supposed to be just a little bit more than one can but I just put two cans of it in there. Now for the broccoli. Oh, I missed a part. It says I have to chop the broccoli. I was just expecting that it would fall apart a little bit when it got in the soup. <laughs> okay though, we're gonna fix it. <laughs> we're fixing it. Okay, so it's probably not chopped as small as it should be, but it's gonna be fine. It's gonna taste fine. So, we're gonna put it on high for three hours. Actually, we're gonna put it on high for two hours. Okay, so, I look rough. I just woke up from a nap, it's Sunday. That's what we do. But this soup, I'll show you what it looks like. Actually looks really good. Looks like that, smells really good. The only problem is it needed about half the broccoli that I put in it. Um, and I'm pretty sure I put similar to what they said to put, but maybe, maybe I put more because I kind of did guess on it. So maybe that's the problem. I'm not good at guessing at things. Um, and I knew it looked like a lot when I put it in, but I mean, I knew obviously it was going to soften and kind of break apart. So I figured it'd be one of those things where after, you know, when it was done, it'd be fine. But it was definitely too much broccoli. Um, and I like broccoli, but it was just too much for that soup. But it tasted really good. If it had less broccoli, I really think it would be comparable to Panera. Like, it's a good recipe for sure. So... I think next time, instead of even trying to do however much broccoli, I'll probably just pour it in and whatever looks like will be good is just how I'll leave it. Um, Cause I'd almost rather have less broccoli than more. Um, even though I do like broccoli, I like to taste the actual cheese part of the soup too. So um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do next time I make it, but I'm definitely gonna make it again because I think it's a really good recipe and it's really simple. And so I'll definitely be making that again cause I really liked it. But um, anyways, it's all about just trial and error and I'll still, I'll still eat it. So, and it's good. It's not like it's bad. It's just not what it should be. So I'll know for next time. My mom said maybe I can take some of the broccoli out. Maybe I'll try that. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm just having some water with this, um, stuff in it. Normally I just have plain water, but Manny bought these things that are like so good. They are from the Crush brand and, um, we have grape, orange, berry punch in this box. And then we also have um, strawberry and pineapple. We have one strawberry and then there's a pineapple one in there. But they're seriously so good. And we don't have like anything else really other than water. And we have some sweet tea. So I was wanting something with water. But I just decided to try one of these because I had it earlier. And it was really good. So anyways, I'm just going to rest a little bit more. It's 6.30. I could easily go back to sleep. But I'm just going to try to stay awake because... I need to say, like, another thing I didn't tell you guys, we took our staff picture today for um, our website at the church because we are not on the website yet. We haven't updated the pictures, all that stuff. So we're going to be on the website now, and we all did, um, you know, pictures with the same background. And the background um, looked really cool, I think. So I'm excited to get those kind of edited a little bit and then put on the website because um, I think they look good from what I can see on the camera. So, yeah, anyways... I'm just gonna hang out for the night. All right, so now it's time for a little cleanup. Okay, so obviously broccoli does not smell the greatest. <laughs> house doesn't necessarily smell the greatest right now 
It's one of the reasons I'm putting it away a little quicker than what I normally would. Normally I leave it out and then, you know, if we want to have anything else, we can have it. If we want to have more, but it stinks. So we are putting it away, but I'm going to go ahead and put a scent in the scenty. It doesn't smell very good in here. All right, so we're in the guest room right now, and I found, by we, I mean me and you, <laughs> are in here, and I found these the other day that I totally forgot to put up, and I am so excited to put them up. I forgot that I bought them, um, or that we got them. Actually, I think my mom got, yeah, my mom got these for us when we were moving in here, which is really sweet. Um, but they're just his and hers, like, little hooks, and I just thought it was so cute, so... I don't know exactly where I'm going to put them. I have kind of an idea where I think it would look cute. Um, I more so want it like for the decor part. I mean, we'll probably put something on there, but um, I just think they're adorable. So we're going to put these somewhere very soon, tonight or tomorrow, because I love these. And they were $6.99 each at Marshall's. So I think they are adorable. Okay, so we decided to go to the store um, because I needed like some face wipes and um, I got, I tried to get Pepsi because I get acid reflux really bad. But I just got, they didn't have Pepsi at this store. So I just got like an off-brand like antacid, which is probably going to be so gross. But, oh well. <laughs> um, <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> That's not a fake laugh. And I wanted to show you guys, we got a bunch of snacks and stuff. Because we went to Walmart and like spent a decent amount of money. And it was like the cart was full and everything was great. And I was like, perfect, because we needed to load up on everything. We had like literally run out of everything. So we loaded up the cart and then came home and put it away. And it was one of those things where you just like look around and you're like, where is the food? Like, what did we buy? This is dying. Okay, perfect. But I found these. And I looked for these all last year and could not find them. And I love these. They are the Christmas gingerbread soft cookies. And they are so good. And I'm so excited. So we got some snacks. I'm going to have some ice cream now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog for today and go ahead and edit it right now while I eat my ice cream. So, <coughs> bless you, Manny. <laughs> so, my camera is dying anyway. So, thank you guys for watching. Remember, you are incredible. Jesus loves you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.